from hated to celebrated. On your journey, your transformation, this is what it's going to be like, y'all. So, you know, if I were to ask you to close your eyes, okay, and think of a time when you felt like you were misunderstood, like all these people had been, you know, treating you wrong and you were just being judged and hated, and I'm sure that you can come up with a memory that would, you know, jog your memory if you're not there now, but we've all been there, am I right? You get kind of a sting of rejection, a burn of exclusion, and a heavy weight of being unpopular, okay? Maybe you didn't always feel that way, but it was. But, but today, I want to go over why that story that you have proves that even in the face of adversity, that you rise and transform and become the person now that your haters are watching that everybody wants and needs, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a victory story. It's a story that begins with the person that maybe wasn't always the underdog, or maybe they were, you know, but you were underdogged in a way. Uh, you found yourself this way, misunderstood, judged harshly by your peers, family, friends, all these things, okay? You were the person that was hated, prejudiced, and you didn't let that define you, though. You started to use that as a catalyst for your transformation, okay? And the first hurdle that you go against is all these haters that are coming out of nowhere, Okay, we've all had haters. You know, they're the individuals who, for some reason or another, they decide they want to focus their energy on bringing you down. They're quick to judge and point out your flaws. And they're even quicker to dismiss your achievements. And let me tell you something. Haters are not your obstacles. They are your motivation. Because they get that fire up underneath you. Every comment they make, every judgment, every harsh word, Every little snicker, all this stuff is a stepping stone for you and you prove them wrong and it gives you a reason to work even harder, to strive even more, to become even better. It gives you a reason to become the one that you are and now you're the one that everybody wants and needs. You see how that works? You see how you do that through this? And you smear it in their face without doing anything but succeeding, okay? You remember when you weren't celebrated? You remember when you were hated, left out, all the lonely nights, like on lonely nights, da, da, da. but you focused on your growth. You focused on what you could control, your actions, your words, your decisions, your goals, your dreams, all this stuff. You stopped seeking validation from others and you started seeking it from God and with yourself. And this is where you stopped trying to fit into a mold that no longer fits you because you broke the damn mold. Now they're going to have to mold around you and they want to much. So... You're not hiding in the shadow. You stepped into the light and the fight and you're knocking them out day and night, okay? You worked hard day in, day out. You honed your skills, expanded your knowledge. You built your confidence. You learned to take this criticism constructively, using it as a tool for your improvement rather than a weapon of self-destruction. You learned to stay humble, but have pride in what you can do and accomplish. And these victories... And you start piling them up, even if they're not major victories at, at the beginning, but you don't give up because you have something called faith now, okay? You stayed hopeful during the many failures that they tried to make your final failure. And when you went through this journey of transformation, something amazing starts to happen to you. The people who judged and criticized you, some of them start to come around again and they notice the change. Some of them have to respect you now because they're not bad people, but they know that your confidence wasn't in vain. They know that your confidence was because you meant what you were saying. And they see the value now that you bring to the process, to the process, and a new perspective is gained. They now know that your character is strong. They know that your abilities are high. They know that you're that man. They know you're the Teflon Don. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and that's when slowly but surely the tables started to turn. And everyone that hated you the wanted you to be the bad, you know, dumbass, the, the one that didn't know what he was talking about or, or she was talking about or all this stuff. Now you're the one that everyone wants to be with. You became the one that people are now turning to for advice, support, and they just want to know inspiration. You become the one that everybody needed in a short time for, due to a lot of pain. And this story is not about revenge, though maybe it was for a time. It doesn't matter as long as you didn't do anything wrong. 
then this story is your personal growth and overcoming adversity and embracing yourself. It's about th this being recognized to yourself that the only validation you ever need is from within. And it's about understanding that these haters, they don't define you. All they do is shine you. <laughs> but today, I'm here talking to y'all, chosen family. You're not a person that's succumbed to hate. You're a person that rose above it. And now you're standing in a place as a testament to the power of faith, self-belief, perseverance, and resilience. And now you're standing before this crowd of haters that no matter how many of them there are, no matter how much adversity they tried to face against you, you crushed them all single-handedly. You may have had some people helping you along the way and salute to them people because they believed in you and they're worth a lot. But maybe you didn't have anybody. So if you're facing haters right now and you're kind of, you know, feeling the criticism, the judgment and all this, use it. I'm telling you right now, the best gift you can get is this. Use it as your stepping stone. Use it as the fuel to your journey of self-improvement and growth and boom to the sky to places they never wanted you to get. And you're going to become the one that everybody wants and needs. Okay. You had the rug pulled out from under you, but what a laugh it'll be when Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. They never let poor Rudolph play in any reindeer games. And then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Hey, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? And then all the reindeer loved him, yay, as I shouted out with glee, yippee! Da -da 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 -da. You'll go down in history. And then Rudolph went down in history, his story. That's when you are the chosen one. That's when you got options. That's when nobody's going to treat you wrong. That's when, if they don't like what you're doing, you know where they can sit or they can hit the door. Because guess what? You've proven it. You've been taken down to the trenches of hell and rose above. You faced so much adversity, so much doubt, so much criticism, so much BS, so much betrayal, so much rejection, so much oppression, so much discrimination, so much of all this negative stuff that they did and you faced it for years and months and weeks and all these things. Alone, hurt, hit over the head in the stomach with the freaking steel-toed boot at 200 miles an hour, curled over, throwing up, out of, took the wind out of you. But you did not give up. You never gave up and you kept believing you knew that it ain't going to end this way because let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Let them, put, let them knock you around. Let the good times roll. Let them make you a clown. Let them leave you up in the air. Let them brush your rock and roll hair. Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Oh, yeah. And that's when you're saying, oh, and now it's your time, baby, because they didn't want to let Rudolph play, and you just let the good times roll, and you didn't care what they said. You said, all right, bet. It ain't going to end like this. I can promise you that. I can promise you that. And you didn't say it out loud. You just, all right, you're humble. You're humble. All right, head and tilt. And now they don't know what to do because all their plans failed. They knew what your potential was. Some of these people did. Some of these people knew what your potential was and definitely did not want you to get there. Some of them were probably, you know, trying to get you to realize this. But 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 there's don't don't get me wrong, there's definitely people out there that do not like to see you winning and you're doing it regardless of what they say. And there's nothing that they can do about it. Glory to God. And you need to pat yourself on the back because you have worked like a damn Clydesdale. They can't stop you and they haven't been able to. And that's what you needed to prove to yourself. And you are doing that if you haven't already done it. So I just wanted to say, you have done great. Don't worry about it. This is what you needed to find. This is what you needed to do. And you should be proud of yourself because that's awesome. Not very many people achieve that in life. So I'll talk to y'all later. God bless. If you found this helpful, I got description links, all the links for donations. Thank you. Good night. How we doing tonight, Phoenix? So glad to be here.